Jared, sir, how are you today? Right. I appreciate you joining us. I'm very good. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. Um, if you could please properly introduce yourself for people that may not know who you are, whereabouts in the world you are right at this moment, and plug or promote anything you would like. Of course. Uh, my name is Jared Nesbitt. I also go by Thanatos Musically. Um, I'm from Ashley, Pennsylvania, and um, I actually just released a lyrics video on April 10th, and I have an upcoming show um next saturday april 23rd out in allentown pennsylvania at the sportsman's cafe hell yeah i i have jammed the new record it's awesome i really like the hook we'll get to it i want to start off with hello as the first one what inspired this track as far as being your first record i know as an artist like previously myself like making that first record that you want people to hear like this is me this is what my music is i guess a did you make music prior to this or was this the first here in the world uh, is my music? Like, how did this all start? So I've been writing music and like singing, like as far back as I can remember from like being a kid, I used to always sing along to the radio, argue with my dad, like, hold on, wait, don't, don't stop the car. Let me finish the song and stuff. Um, and then at an early age, I got into like writing um, back when I was a teenager, my friends and everybody in the neighborhood from where I'm from would like, always rap battle and stuff like that. So that's where like lyrically I started getting diverse. And um, as I got a little bit older, some of my friends and family like, yo, we, we like your voice, you know, like you can do a couple of lessons and maybe do something with it. And I met my fiance back in 2014. She introduced me to like a whole new world of music. Um, when I first tried it, she was brutally honest, said, yo, you need to, you need to figure it out a little bit. So I took a couple months like to myself and I practiced and I practiced and, uh, the first song that I ever did in front of ever, anybody was Kings for a Day by Pierce the Veil and Sleeping with Sirens. And um, a lot of people reacted really well to the screen. So that's what kind of gave me the idea, like, yo, maybe I can, like, do some, like, heavy style music. I've actually tried to make bands in the past, but unfortunately, they kind of fell apart before we even got to practice or play any shows. So I got the idea, maybe a solo gig would work out. Hell yeah, so that's how it all came about. Um, as, as somebody that's heavily tattooed myself, can I see your neck work that you told me you were getting worked on today? This is all, this yeah, is all absolutely. fresh, fresh, juicy right here. I don't know how good you can see it, but it's still it, it looks up fresh. It looks uh, fresh. Give me a hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, when, it's at what actually point? the lit adventure time. Oh, that's tight. That's tight. At what point did you decide to go to go all in regarding the face ink? Um, so I originally started thinking about it when I was like 15, 16 years old. I seen a couple of people in like movies, TV shows. I heard a zombie boy and I was like, yo, that's fucking badass. And I actually started like doing makeup like that. I started like doing like the stitches and skeleton faces and shit like that. And everybody was asking me like, yo, are those tattoos? I'm like, no, it's just makeup. And then, I started off with just one rose and a kiss mark, another rose. And then at one point I had five face tattoos. And I was like, eventually it's just going to look crowded and it's going to look like shit. So I was thinking about it for a while. And then, I don't know, one day I just decided, screw it, go, go big or go home. I went to the tattoo artist. And I was like, can you do this? And he's like, are you shitting me? I'm like, no, like I'm 100% serious. Don't talk me out of it. We need to do it. And uh, I love it. I thought, a lot of people thought maybe I was going to regret it in time. Nah, I, I really do like it. I feel a lot more comfortable with myself now that I have it than I did before. Very cool. What what was the shop that, that did the work? Triple uh, Six actually did my face. Bruce Fairchild from Triple Six over in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Very cool. If you guys have not heard this next song, I don't know how. We play it all the time. It's amazing. Hello. Hell yeah. It, it is superb. I do want to ask about about the new record though. Um, it's called "The Way That I Am." Is that correct? I am the way that I am. Yes, I am the way or that I am. I am the way I am. What inspired this particular track? So, um, if you listen to like the lyrics, I try to keep that one like radio stream and more or less like a surfaced one. Um, a lot of stuff in my life, man. I was um, put down a lot. I dealt with bullying. I dealt with depression amongst the whole list like of other mental disorders and everything like that. And um, 
I used to let everything that people would say about me and to me get to me and to a point where I started like believing that it was true, all the negative shit about me. And uh, my fiance kind of helped me like open up my eyes and stop caring about like what everybody else thinks and start doing shit for me. And um, I was struggling with an addiction a couple years ago and I just got sober two weeks, uh, two years ago. And uh, that's kind of like my mental standpoint hey, right now. Hey, I'm new here. Um, hey. Hi. My bad, I'll mute that. That won't happen again, I'm sorry. No, that's, that's first of all, power to you for for beating the addiction. That's awesome. Shout out to uh, Miss Fiance for, for helping w and with all that. I mean, that's not easy to overcome. By the way, I do want to congratulate you, sir. I believe you are expecting soon. Can I get a hell yeah and a round of applause for that yeah. chat? That's awesome. The August 1st. August We're going 1st. We're to be having um, a daughter. That is awesome, man. So happy for you. That is that is really cool. And uh, you are not currently a father until August 1st. This will be your your first child. Is that correct? Uh, no, I actually have a six-year-old son with my fiance. Oh, I didn't know that. Hell yeah. So you're, you've been blessed. Yeah, you've been blessed. Hunter. You've been blessed. I love it. Thank Hell you. yeah. Let's jam. I Actually, am. Right before this interview, I just heard him playing my music on Spotify. Oh, it's they they had never heard it before. Um, he's heard it like off of like my cell phone, like after I recorded it and stuff, and I got the files. I showed it to him, and um, now that they're on Spotify, uh, I just logged into Spotify on his TV for him, so he can listen. He loves Bring Me the Rise and like a whole bunch of bands like that, and um, he somehow found my music on there, and I just heard him blasting it out there. I love it. He's like, yo, hold up, hold up. Daddy rocks too, man. You got to check him out, man. If he's in the kindergarten or first grade, he's like, yo, you got to check out my dad, dude. He's killing it. This is the oh, end. I am the way I am. It has like a a little bit, like I know I, you said, you said pierce the veil, sleeping with sirens. Like I get that a little bit more on this song, like that vocal range. And then it, at, the, at the same time, it has like almost like a Mike Shinoda vibe to me, but like a little more aggressive as far as like the rapping song, cause you get a little aggressive on the raps there, but either way, it is absolutely superb, sir. Back to back bangers. Yeah. When can we expect possibly- I actually want to give a huge shout out to a friend of mine, Nicole Hole, for um, featuring in that song with me. I didn't get to tag her in the um, like title or anything as featuring cause she doesn't have an artist name or account yet. She's really new to this. Um, but I am very, very thankful that she jumped on this track with me. It really meant a lot. It was like a very short notice thing. I hit her up like two days before I got to the studio. And I'm like, yo, um, this is a last minute thought process. But my fiance and I thought about it and think that like you would sound amazing singing in this song with me. And um, I really feel like she has a lot of potential musically as well. So um, I've been bringing her with me as far as my performances and like open mic nights and stuff to help me sing that song. Hell yeah. Very cool. Is there is there a timetable for when like a full length EP is possibly coming out? Um, as far as the release plan, um, I I still have three more songs left on the EP that's going to be released individually over the course of the next couple of months. I still have to get a couple lyrics videos made and some other stuff like that. Is there? Have you thought about additional features like maybe someone that you've met while playing shows and you were like, man, would you ever jump on a track? Um, is there any, is there any possible features oh, yeah, we can expect? Actually, oh yeah. I've actually been talking to quite a few. I can't mention any names until they're fully confirmed, but I have been talking to quite a few artists about when I go to put together my full, like my first full length album, I have about three or four other artists that are like really excited to actually ask me if they can jump on a track with me. And I was like, dude, yes, absolutely. I'm all about trying to get out there to as many people as possible, try to get my name out there, supporting everybody as much as I can. Hell yeah, very cool. Are you down to review some bands with us and or do some trivia? Oh, hell yeah. Regarding trivia, I need to know a little bit more about you real quick. What would you say you know the most about in the film or TV world? It could be Futurama, Harry Potter, literally anything, Dexter, Breaking Bad. What do you know the most about if your fiance is off camera, she can still help off camera. No worries. What do you guys know the most about? You're not going to get this trivia wrong. I'll give you a second to think about it. I'll play a little bit more of I am the way I am. You guys discuss. You're not going to get it wrong. You know this. Don't worry if you do. It's no big deal. 
Uh, we, but if you do get it right, right, we spin this wheel right here. You can win a prize. But you probably will torture me if you get it right. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, fire. Have you guys thought of some trivia? Yeah, I think I'm, maybe I'm going to go with some uh, Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. No one has ever said that. Give me a second to queue it up. I want to know what you think right now about Aaron Harrell's band as well as J.J. Hughes. We'll get them going in just a second right now. This is Carmina All right. Gadelica. I'm looking up Bob Burger trivia. Give me a second. It's very like funky, different. What's a what's a band that you jam in your personal time that we wouldn't expect that you listen to, Jared? Oof. Um, Twenty One Pilots. A lot of people get surprised when I tell them I'm a huge fan of Twenty One Pilots. I'm iffy. I like some songs and then don't care for others. But at the same time, I love the fact that they have a really, really cool show. I know they pass the drummer out like on the crowd and he plays. That's really cool. Yeah. And, and they do a hell of a lot for being a two piece. So I have respect to them. I was not expecting that. The one that. thing that like really draws me into them, the one huge thing that really draws me into them is um, the vocalist and the guy that writes, Tyler. Um, lyrically he's i i personally think that lyrically he's very very gifted like he's so good at putting so many different meanings behind one simple sentence it it blows my mind when like you sit back and listen to some of his interviews about what his songs mean because there's so many different options and like things that like one sentence or one song can mean for him it's it, it blows my mind there's a lot of like concept stuff going on with them too which is kind of cool it is time to yeah. see if you know Bob's Burgers, like you said you do. I wanna know, who is Bob's landlord? What is the name of Bob's Calvin landlord? Fishoder. What is it? Calvin Fishoder. That is correct! Yeah, hell yeah. You do know Bob's Burgers. Let's see what it lands on here in a second. We'll find out. This is J.J. Hughes with Last Breath. Not bad, J.J. Hughes. So, uh, Jared, I know you've been playing a lot more shows lately. Uh, what was it like playing with Promises Unsaid and hanging out with Caleb? Chat wants to know that specific question. Oh, my God. He is such a cool guy. Everybody in the band is so nice, so friendly. They actually helped me um, with my audio while I was performing. That was really, really nice of them. Um, they said they're going to help me try to book other shows and everything. They're a really cool band. Great performance live, too. Caleb can really put on a show. Hell yeah, shout out to Caleb. He's actually playing the festival uh, August 13th here in Southern California. Uh, I do want to know. I was really happy for him. The second I seen that, I had a message. I'm like, dude, congratulations. That's so badass. I don't know what I'm doing regarding putting on this festival. That's why I gave myself five and a half months to figure it out. I've I've I put on shows, but it's something I normally have didn't even do until like six or seven months ago. And then I was like, let's just go for the gusto. And immediately I realized, God, this is the most work ever. <laughs> it really is, but it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it is stressful. I'm I'm currently trying to figure out how to set up my own show personally for the first time. Cause um the first show I ever went to and the second one I'm going to, I was invited to. So I'm personally trying to figure out how to contact the venues, speak to the managers, book a date, fees, I got everything you. like that. I got reach you. Reach out to the band, make there, sure everybody's available. It's There is it's a sucks. company <laughs> that does just this. They actually don't even sponsor the show anymore, but this is the perfect time to drop them. Get-gigs.com. It's completely free to sign up. I think you should check into it. And uh, basically, like you are your own booking agent. It's like, hey, I want to play here, I want to play here, and like bands trade shows with you. Like you open for them, and then when they come to your neck of the woods, you're like, hey, dude, I'll set up a show over here, and you guys open for me, or vice versa. It's kind of a cool website, get-gigs.com. I think it could help in that particular scenario as far as you getting more shows. Absolutely, that sounds really convenient. Jared, a couple more questions for you. What is the most important album ever made? according to you as far as this changed my music career this one album just changed everything for me um i don't want to like sound corny or anything but personally it had to have been the sub eternal album from bring me the horizon it's fantastic it's a fantastic album sepultura and uh the entire album um was his struggle with like addiction 
and everything like that. And I strongly, strongly related to almost every single word. Um, Oliver Sykes himself is actually an inspiration on my writing and my musical style and appearance. Like, Bring Me the Horizon is what absolutely changed my entire like view on music and style and everything. I absolutely adore that band. Yeah, shout out to Ollie and, and Sepultura, which I think is the one that had Moses on it, the track Moses with the like the stutter kind of video. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a yeah. a crazy direction for them to go and a lot of fans were like, "Yo, hey yo. Hey yo, what the fuck? You gave me suicide season and then this." And they lost some fans, but I think overall oh, yeah. they gained more fans than they'd ever had, so they knew exactly what they were doing. Oh yeah. I'm going to give they you just released a song with them. Um... I believe it was a masked wolf that they released a song with recently. It's really good. They're from their first song to their most recent. I love every song that they've ever put out. Masked wolf. Okay. I haven't heard that one featuring Ollie or featuring the whole band. Uh, yes. I'll it's check it um, out. called fallout. Okay. Let's jam uh Donovan Malero, who, if you don't know, is the drummer singer of a band called hail the sun. Being as you're a Pierce the Pierce the Veil Sleeping with Siren fan, I think you should definitely know about Hail the Sun. If you don't, this is uh, his solo project. I've not heard this song though. It's called Neon Ocean, and it's pr pretty damn cool. Uh, Jared, I know you said you're gonna it really do. It does kind of right. That's why I think you would really like Hail the Sun. Uh, it kind of has a little bit of like a Pierce the Veil kind of vibe to it. But uh, you said you were gonna drop three more singles in the next coming months. Is there a tentative timetable for the for the next single, the third single? Um, my birthday is in June, so I did plan on releasing the next single roughly around June tenth or eleventh in that ballpark, if I can get the lyrics video done in time. Cool. Who does the lyric videos? A good friend of mine named Keegan Hamill. Keegan Hamill. Yeah, Chad was asking about that earlier. They were like, "Dang, the lyric videos are pretty cool, man." So shout out to Keegan Hamill. Um, yeah, he does an amazing job. I absolutely love his like the way that his brain works with the music and everything. It's it's incredible. Hell yeah! Uh, I'm gonna ask you just a final kind of stupid question, but what what do you do that's just like an odd habit? It's your day off and you're just chilling. You're you're over here playing Magic the Gathering card games. Like, what's like an odd habit that that we wouldn't expect of you? That you wouldn't expect me to do. I spent a lot of time with my dogs when I have free time. I'm, I'm like, ever since I was a kid, I was really big on dog training. I have a female Akita named Hershey. She's like 85 pounds. And I have a male boxer uh, named Oreo. He's about 115 pounds. And um, I, like I said, I have a six-year-old son. We're expecting a baby. So I've been like tightening up on all their training, making sure they're not like, you know, possessive over their food. It's not like we ever had an issue, but it's good to just keep up on it. So whenever I have free time, I like to take them out, train them, walk them, have fun with them. Yeah, that's awesome. You seem like a great dad, dude, for real. Congratulations on the baby again. Thank you so much. Uh, just Thank you. your music's amazing. We're we're so stoked that you were able to join the show. You almost had that one tournament of champions. I think maybe we can get you in another one down the road, and maybe you can be a little more successful. But congratulations on all the recent. Really <laughs> Hell yeah! Congratulations on all the on the recent shows, which I've been hearing are are great vibes. Good, everything's awesome about it. And uh, dude, just cheers, man. We appreciate you hanging out with us for a little while today, Jared Nesbit, Thanatos. Give me a hell yeah! At Thanatos sounds on just about everything, right here on YouTube. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, just like I'm doing right now. So I don't miss nothing. Much love. Thank you very much for having me on, okay? Thank you, dude. We'll be chatting soon. Awesome. See you guys. Cheers. Bye.